my collection of stoves. And they are mainly Covea and Snow Peak. I'll start with Snow Peak. Okay, so these are my Snow Peak stoves. One is the Baja burner and the other one is the home and camp burner. So this is the Baja burner. It looks like this. What I like about this is that it can be inserted into onto the IGT tables or it can stand on its own like this. So this one has a handle right here um, where you can lift up and put it down onto your IGT system. Um, it's easy to clean. You can actually take this off. And like you saw earlier, I wiped it down and it was really easy to clean. Underneath, you'll notice that they have four legs that kind of jut out like this and it's pretty solid. If you're thinking that it would burn any surface underneath, I've never had experience with that. We just put this straight on there without anything underneath and nothing burns. So let's turn this baby on and see the flames. So how that works is on this side, there's a little knob that sticks out like this and you kind of just straighten it out and you attach your propane right here. So what I'll do now is attach this to the fuel. It'll spurt out a little bit, but that's normal. Okay. Yep. Super quick. So I'll turn on the gas here and ignite, okay? So yeah, this is the Baja burner. All right, next. If this is the home and camp burner, and it has a neoprene case. So I'll go ahead and open it. So it's got the latch here. You just open it with a tab here and you just pull it out. Okay, so this is the home camp home burner. It's very used, let's say that. The reason why it's very used is because I actually got this at an REI garage sale and this usually retails for about a hundred, but I actually got it for like $55. This is what it looks like. There's a knob here. There's a little hole here. It's a really cool compact burner and it's actually pretty big for like bigger pots and it's a really strong burner. So let's go ahead and open it. There is a little button here that you press. I'm having difficulty because of my long nails. So you just press this button right here and it should loosen it. There we go. And then you kind of take it all the way around, just like that. So it came from the other side, now it's this way. So now it looks like this. So next you pull this section out and you spread it up like this, open its legs. You turn it around towards yourself because this is the knob that you turn it on or you used to turn it on with. But for this case, I'll have it facing you guys so you know what it looks like. And the canister goes in here. I'll go ahead and put in a butane. And close it yep so now everything is just one click you do it all the way to that side and then it turns on there you go it's a pretty solid flame okay same cool thing to put it away Take out the cartridge, and same thing, you press the button underneath. 
So now it's on the other side, right here. So you press that button to put it back in its place, okay? I'm gonna use my little tool. Okay. And it goes all the way around, just like that. And it closes. There we go. We'll go ahead and put it back in its neoprene case. When you do put it back, this side goes down towards the back where the flap is, just like this. There we go. And then you close it just like that. So those are my two Snow Peak burners. Now I actually have three other burners for camping or at home, and they are from the brand Covea. So for Covea, I'll start from the smallest to the largest. This is the smallest Covea. This is in its official case, but it's a pretty cool little mini stove. This is embarrassing. This is the little Covea Mini Cube. What's really cool about this is it has an attachment where you can replace the knob and add slats of wood around it to just make it look even more aesthetic. But this is a pretty solid stove actually. This one takes a butane. So I'll go ahead and put that in. Now we're going to turn it on. So satisfying. So what I like about this is that it's small enough to kind of use as your own personal hot pot, ramen, or your own personal Korean barbecue even. And the flame is pretty strong as you can tell. So all around it looks like this. It's called the Mini Covea Retro All-in-One System. What I really love about this is it is exactly what it says. It's all-in-one. So I'll, sh I'll go ahead and show you guys. It's got a latch opposite openings. One down, one up. it's so cute so this is the case pretty solid sturdy case I'll go ahead and put it away here so this is the stove the stove runs on butane again and it goes on through the side right here it does jut out at the end but you know that's fine you don't really see that part while you're cooking on top you've got a grill grate just like this you can put your pots on there, or the most awesomest thing, you can see right here, what comes out. Yay! It's a little ceramic pan that fits just on top. You can either put it on top of this or take it off and put it straight in. It actually also comes with a lid, but don't be like me and leave your whole system inside there as you're cooking something and melt your lid. <laughs> but thank God Kovea already knew that was going to happen. So they sell the lid separately as well. So yeah, so basically you can take this, this whole system, and it's already what you can cook with, including the ceramic pan. The ceramic pan is nonstick amazing Korean barbecue, um, pho, hot pot, anything like that. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's go ahead and get our little butane. Touch it in. So this is what I'm talking about. It juts out right here, but that's fine. You do have to press it in too and turn it. So satisfying. 
I love how it turns on because the flame just kind of goes all the way around. Here, I'll show you guys. This is the biggest stove ever. This is the Kovea all-in-one barbecue, and it's in the size large. This actually also comes in medium. So this is the case that it comes with when you first purchase it. There is a better case for it, but we kind of just keep it at home. So we just kept it in here. We don't travel with this, so we just kept it in here. Dun, 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 dun. So it's quite a big kit, as you can see. There's a lot of parts to it. Well, go ahead and take it out one by one. Here's the lid for it. Set that aside. These are the different cooktops. This is the cooktop itself. And this is the burner. Okay, so this is what it looks like put together with the pan. So there are many ways to use this and they give you many different cooktops. So this is one of them which can be used in many ways. You can use it as a pot because it's deep enough or you can use it as a pan because it's shallow enough for that too. So there's an, a screw right here that you can take on, put on or take off depending on if you want to drain any oils if you want to. So that, this is the first top, and you can also close it with this beautiful glass lid that fits perfectly. So when you take this away, you have what we call like the base. So let's see it turn on. It is huge. It's very long too. Definitely meant for sharing for big families as well. Alright, so it took a little bit, but let's try again. Okay, so it does take a couple of times to turn on. Alright, so we'll talk about the different cooktops. Now we've got this. This is meant for big pots. So um, big pots or pans that you can put other than the ones that it came with already. Um, you can see that it has bars right here and across in the middle, so it can be as big as this. It's a very big diameter if you had a pot that big or a pan that big. Alright, next. So this is what the grill grate looks like. And underneath of this section, you can see that it's going to disperse the heat a lot better with these vents. Okay, so that's what it looks like, and this is where you cook cream barbecue on or any kind of meats that you want. Stove top, too. Also, a really cool thing that this came with is this. They are skewer stands. <laughs> and depending on how big your skewers are, you can adjust it as needed. Just like that. Or, you don't need to use it, it'll just go to the side. So, this is a really, really amazing home product. So that's it you guys for today's video. I hope you found it useful and I hope that you know you guys like any of these and purchase them for yourselves and I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next camping trip.